Hello everyone, good morning. This is Teacher Kent and I know that you were excited about our new topic this morning. But before that, there are some blurry pictures here that you need to guess first to have a hint of what our discussion all about. So I have here the five blurry pictures and I need your help to guess all of it. The first picture Next picture. Next picture. The next picture. And the last picture. So do you have any idea what are these pictures depict? So let's see if your answer are all correct. Very good. You get it all right. All the blurry pictures shown are the parts of the plant. Plant is composed of different organs. Did you know how this organ system work together and why does each organ important to plant? Let's go and talk about plant organ system and their function. But before we proceed to our discussion, we have here the following objectives. At the end of the lesson, you as a learner can Define and describe a plant and its tissue types. Discuss the different organs, organ, systems of the plant with their functions. Lastly, explain how shoot and root system work together. Plants are multicellular organisms. They are also photosynthetic organisms that contain green pigments called the chlorophyll, which enable plants to convert energy from the sun into food. Plant cells are also formed mary stems and then develop into cell types which are grouped into tissue. There are three types of tissues among plants. The first one is the dermal. The second one is the ground. Lastly, it is called the vascular tissue. Meristem contains the meristematic tissue. It is the plant tissue that has the ability to divide actively throughout its life. It can be found on the soft part of the plant such as the newly formed stems and roots. They are called the area of elongation in which the process of mitosis is active. Ground tissue makes up much of the interior of a plant and carries out basic metabolic functions. It provides support and may store food or water. Examples of ground tissue cells are the parenchyma cells, colenchyma, and the sclerenchyma. Parenchyma cells are responsible for metabolic function such as photosynthesis and storing food in the roots. Storage of energy mainly in the form of starch and fats. Then colenchyma should support in the areas of active growth. And the sclerenchyma should support in the areas where growth has ceased. In vascular plant, of course, we have the vascular bundles. Try to cut horizontally the stem or cylindrical parts of the plant. Using a microscope, you can see tube-like structure. The bigger one is the xylem, and the smaller one is the fluid. The xylem distributes water and dissolved mineral upward to the plants, from the roots to the leaves. The fluid carries food downward from the leaves to the roots. The vascular plant cells are tachyids, and vessel elements can be found in xylem. Companion cells and sieve tube member include maintaining cells and transporting necessary molecules with the help of companion cells. 
dermal tissue cells or epidermal cells, its role is to protect from a variety of harmful factors, environmental stressors, including microbes, chemical compounds, as well as ultraviolet light, among others. Of course, we have also the stomata that takes in carbon dioxide and water with nutrients, releases oxygen and water without minerals, as somehow in transient exit during photosynthesis. And the last one is the trichome, served to protect leaves and the plants in general from harsh environmental conditions as well as protection from pathogens. The organs or parts of a plant can be divided into two organ systems, the shoot system and the root system. The root system, the network of all the roots of a plant and related organs that a plant can develop. It includes the following. 1. Roots absorb water and mineral from the soil, synthesize plant growth regulators, and store reserve food material. 2. Tubers, it is a specialized storage stem of a certain seed-bearing plants. 3. Rhizomes are used to store starches and proteins and enable plants to perinate or survive an annual unfavorable season underground. While shoot system is an aerial and erect part of plant body which grows upwards, it is usually above the soil and developed from plumule of the embryo. It includes the following. 1. Leaves contains chlorophyll that helps the plant to prepare their food using sunlight carbon dioxide and water through photosynthesis. Number two, stems. Support the leaves to conduct water and mineral to the leaves where they can be converted into usable product by photosynthesis and to transport this product from the leaves to the other part of the plant. Three, flop plant. It is the reproductive part of the flowering plant. And lastly, the fruit. It is the main features of the flowering plant. For more inputs, you can visit this site, flash on your screen, to learn how the roots and the shoot system work together. Afterwards, try to answer the following question that is also flash on the screen. Once again, this is your teacher Ken, and have a great day everyone. Thank you for listening. Bye!